<laughs> is he insulting my hometown? Uh, and we have someone who's going to come out here first. Are you guys ready to get to the show? Well, look, our first guest is a hometown hero in his own hometown, and that hometown happens to be the North Pole. Please welcome to the show, Santa Claus! Ho, 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 ho! Happy August! Ho, 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 ho! Hi, Scott. Chris, so great to see you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Look, I like to be collegial with you, but that's a little too far. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, what do you prefer to be called? You call me Santa Claus. Santa Claus, the whole thing each well, time? Well, let's try that for a while, see how we like it. All right, Santa Claus. Okay. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> Santa Claus, I, you said it when you came out here. It's August. That's right. What the hell are you doing out I here? I know, I know. Look, I know it's weird to see me out of season. It's, it's gross and it's unseemly. And I don't like to do a lot of personal appearances, you know, pre-December. <laughs> like, the day after Thanksgiving, that's really when I feel like, okay. Are you, so you're not out there doing the conventions? Oh my God, they beg me. <laughs> they beg me to do Comic-Con every year. And I'm like, I don't have a project. And they're like, Santa, they'd just be, be thrilled to see you. And of course, those SantaCon assholes always want a piece of me. What do you, I, I've always wanted to ask you, before we get to what you're doing yeah, in, sure. in August. What, now they have Christmas stores all year round. Yeah, I love it. You love that? Oh, I love it. <laughs> of course I do. Did you ever read A Christmas Carol? Have I ever read it? That's a good question. Yeah, it's a real good question. <laughs> I'm, Let's see if you come up with a good answer. I won't hold my breath, even though I could forever because I'm immortal. I, if I had to guess, I would say no. If you had to guess about your own life. <laughs> Scott, you're a weird guy. Hey, I'll take it. Um, anyway. Uh, you, you would know, wouldn't you? Because... Aren't you watching me all the time? No, I'm not. All the time? Come on. First of all, you're an adult. What's the cutoff? Is it 13, like some religions say? <laughs> what religions are talking about me? <laughs> you know. Uh, no, I don't think I do. Wait. What is it, 18 when you can buy cigarettes? No, it's when, when they stop believing in me. Re oh, really? That's yes. the cutoff, no matter how old they are. If you believe in me, look, there's a few guys out there, and it's guys, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> they still believe in me, and I'm like, a deal's a deal. I bring them presents every year. How old are these guys? They're... One guy's 61. <laughs> one guy's 30. So one 61-year-old, one 30-year-old, everyone yeah. else children. Everyone else children. Did, did they not have uh, any kind of uh, parental figure spoiling the fun? Oh, no, saying, people tried to spoil it for these guys, and they just stuck to their guns. They're like, no, I believe it. And guess what? I mean, you got to reward that, you know? Do you bring them grown-up presents, or is it still the same old wooden rocking horses? It's still the same. Yeah, it's like wooden horses and shit like that. A kite. You know what I mean? What 61-year-old wants to fly a kite? But he's, I got a nice note from him. He was like, thank you, Santa, for the kite. <laughs> it's another thing. These two guys, one of the only ones in the history of me doing this, sent thank you notes afterwards. There's a lot of, hey, Santa, I want this, I want that. Then they get it. Radio silence. <laughs> a lot of them try this thank you in advance bullshit. They're like, here, I want this, 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 this. Thank you so much, Santa. It's like, I haven't done shit yet. I hate the old thank you in advance. You know, the other thing I hate is friendly reminder. How friendly are these reminders? They're not friendly at all. 
People are mad at you. <laughs> well, they're preemptively mad, too. It's like, I haven't forgotten about the thing. Yeah, give me a chance to fucking forget about it. <laughs> I shouldn't swear. I'm sorry. So you're saying you, you're not watching anyone except for young kids? <laughs> okay, come on, man. Come on. And you watch everything that they do? No, I don't watch everything that they do. What are the rules? I don't remember. I see them when they're sleeping, and I know when they're awake. <laughs> so when they're sleeping, I can see them, but like, what, I'm going to watch somebody sleep for eight hours? I don't think so. And then the minute they open their eyes, it shuts off. I can't see them, but I am aware that they are awake. <laughs> and I can sense when they are being good or being bad. Is anyone bad when they sleep? Ooh, a few. <laughs> What's going on? I, man, there was a kid. This was, this was 1921. Oh, and you know, just the concept of a bad seed, you know what I mean? Like, he was just born wrong. And this kid, dead asleep, would get up, walk around the town, set fires. Consciously? Or what? sleep fire setting? I mean, he was asleep, so you could say he doesn't know what he's doing. He had a big smile on his face. And you knew he was asleep. He was not faking it because you could see I him. I could see him. God. And that was chilling. Like one of the, one of the most, and look, I've been around a while, okay? Maybe the most fucked up thing I've ever seen. So this, this boy was eight years old, doing a classic sleepwalk, arms out, Frankenstein style. Frankenstein style? Yes. Was it, why Big did- Big box of matches in the pocket of his little night shirt. Why, why did Frankenstein walk like that? Was it a balancing or it was, was a he... was balancing. He was like a toddler. <laughs> no, Frankenstein gets a bad rap. Really? You, you like Frankenstein? He's all right. Was, uh, did you see him? He didn't ask to be born or assembled or whatever the fuck. <laughs> really, it's Dr. Frankenstein who's the villain. That's right. <laughs> Trying to play God. Yeah. Don't do that, gang. Can I, can I make a big request here right now? Don't play God. It's one of your rules, your eight simple rules. I have eight simple <laughs> rules for mortal beings. Number one, don't play God. Number two, be nice. What if he calls my mom a cocksucker? Be nice. That's from Roadhouse. Roadhouse is one of those movies like people tell you, oh, you gotta see this, it's so good. You gotta see it, but that second part's not true. <laughs> I like the, the sightless individual playing the guitar. Jeff Healy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's, you refer to him as the sightless individual? Sure. Welcome to our planet, this guy. <laughs> The sightless individual is playing the guitar. Did you, sidebar, did you, did you, what Sidebar? Was, what was Jeff Healy like? I'll allow it, but watch yourself, counselor. <laughs> yeah, right. hey, remember that? I do. That was fun. What was Jeff Healy like as a child? <laughs> he was nice. He was sweet. <laughs> taking guitar lessons? <laughs> Just taking guitar lessons? How do, yeah, how it do you know It was his passion. I w I'm aware of things. <laughs> So you, you can't see it, but you get an impression of what's sense. going on? Yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah. your Santa sense is tingling. That's right. Right. That's right. But I could climb walls. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I have to be able to do some stuff like that. I guess up and down the chimney, yeah. I should have guessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't land a, a, a reindeer-led sleigh on a slanted roof. What are you nodding at me for? <laughs> I'm still a podcast, right? I'm agreeing. <laughs> I can't not. I'm supposed to what? I'm supposed to just be here silently still? No, you should talk, dum dum. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry just about. Don't that. call me a dimwit. I'm not. 
that up to a friend of mine. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. Him a <laughs> <laughs> I heard that story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I heard, heard that, that story. story. The Godfather. The Godfather. Great movie. Yeah. Great. You like The Godfather, really? Ready. Hey, did you see the offer? <laughs> I did. Ready. Ready. That guy. Hey, Ready. Godfather is going to be a he was having fun bombshell. That too. He was having so much fun. Yeah, good for him. Anyway, for back him. to my rules. Yes. <sighs> Don't play God. Be nice. <laughs> Wash your ass. <laughs> that applied to the ladies? Men and women. Oh, okay. Whoever you are. <laughs> Wash your ass. <laughs> uh, what was that, three? That was three. Five more. Was it three or was it four? That was three, actually. Don't play God. Be nice. Be nice. Wash your ass. Wash your ass. Please and thank you. <laughs> Don't look in my closet. <laughs> That's very similar to Bluebeard's rule, isn't it? Oh, that guy. <laughs> you know, do you know Bluebeard? I mean, I mean, I know of him, of he's, course. He's a similar fable type being. Yeah, but I'm real. He's not real. No, he's a fake guy. <laughs> <laughs> but you he's know. based on a real guy. Oh, he, oh, he's based on a real, real guy? freak, yeah. Guy used to dye his beard blue. <laughs> Why? I don't know. That was before. He was kind of, you know, ahead of his time. Now I people so. are dyeing their hair all kinds of colors. It is interesting that everyone like, oh, yeah, it's fine to do it up here, but this, nah. uh <laughs> It doesn't look good. I guess not. If you don't dye the rest of your hair, you just have, he had like, you know, like mousy brown hair and then this sky blue beard. I think that'd be cool. Not on him. You got, look, if you want to pull that off, you better have a good look. You know what I mean? You got to have like a Clooney face. I mean, it helps. Brad Pitt abs. Oakland booty. (laughs) You know, speaking of that song. What song? I just realized Sir mix is kind of a Santa-like figure because... Hmm, pe- explain. <laughs> people from all over contact him. Yeah. At his number, 1-900-MIX-A-LOT. Right. <laughs> they kick their nasty thoughts to him. <laughs> but here's the big difference. That's a toll call. <laughs> and what I do is free. But for the price of a stamp, is that correct? Yeah. And they don't have to come to me. I go to them. Right. Yeah. I'm not making everybody come to the North Pole to collect presents. Although, I've thought about it many times. <laughs> but I thought Sir mix would come to wherever the lady who was upset about what people were saying about her booty. No. He made, he made them go to Oakland? No. He, all he's saying is, call me and tell me. <laughs> so he's just a shoulder thoughts. to cry on? I mean, that's a very generous interpretation. I think, I think those calls are going in the, in the wank bank. You know what I mean? I don't think, I don't think Mixelot's doing this out of the goodness of his heart is all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, t- leave these phone messages telling me about how big your ass is. Yeah. Hey, don't worry. I'm here for you. Uh, thanks. <laughs> okay, I see your point. He's not a Santa-like yeah. figure. Okay. No, I he rescind- sure is not. I rescind that. So we're at five, I believe. Yes. Of eight. Okay, uh, so the last one is don't look at my closet. Um, number six. If it's... <laughs> if you're hot, they're hot. I'm trying to, sorry, I'm trying to parse this. If you're hot, yeah. they're, they're hot. hot. Yeah. This refers to temperature? Yes. <laughs> I know who I am. Right. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Most of the time. Because let me tell you something. I'm an old guy, okay? Mm-hmm. Sometimes I'm still trying to figure out who I am. Really, Santa? Even you? Even me, Santa Claus. Beg your pardon, Santa Claus. Thank you. Even you are trying to figure themselves out. I've, you know, I have one purpose in life. That's what I'm on this planet for. 
is I bring toys to all the good Christian boys and girls. <laughs> and look, I'm not trying to exclude people, okay? But it's like, you kind of have to believe in me or you don't get a gift, sorry. Ooh, that was not well received. I don't, I hear you, I hear you. Look, <laughs> let's get this out of the open. I didn't make the rules. I didn't ask to have this task and to be an immortal. I wish I could be dead. All right. So you would ra so you would rather be dead. How did this happen to you? Is this because I recently saw the Santa Claus? We saw it together. Yes. Uh, I'll never forgive you for that. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, that, that, you know, it, it determines Santa Claus is a mantle that has been passed down from person to person. Yeah, that's horseshit. That's not true. You're just the original guy. There's only one Santa. It's me. And I used to be a saint. You know, I used to be a living man. Right. You you were a good guy. I was a good guy. They made me a saint. They don't make a ton of terrible people saints. A few slip through the cracks. If they make Mother Teresa a saint, boy, oh boy. Bad call, fellas. What about St. Bart's? St. Bart's? He's a good dude. St. Bart was a good guy. St. <laughs> Bernard, the best. He looked like one of those dogs. So if you're hot, they're hot, yeah. meaning, meaning like if people come over to your house and if you're hot, then your guests are also hot? That's a good interpretation. And that's absolutely, that works too. But what do you mean, Santa? <laughs> you really don't know? I don't, no. There was a little clue in one of the saints we mentioned. St. Bernard. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Got it. Doggies. That's right. And their little paws. Their little paws, leaving them in the car, all of that stuff. If you're feeling uncomfortable, the dog is too. Got it. <laughs> it's true. Well, I, I one time I saw this TV commercial. It's trying to tell you about this. Was it the safe... Safe flight repair, safe, safe flight, flight replace. replace. Well, that's a good... That's a, I That's a good that one. Song. It's a good song. That's better than any song that, that like, uh, who's that guy we were talking about backstage? The James Taylor. <laughs> You're saying the Safe Flight jingle is better yeah. than any song James Taylor ever wrote. Yeah. <laughs> I have to agree. <laughs> I mean, no shade on James Taylor, but no, he wrote I some. Mean, a little bit, I guess. Yeah. He wrote some fine songs, but that one just gets in, gets out. He wrote some fine songs, <laughs> but you're not going to top Safe Flight Repair, Safe, safe Flight, flight replace. replace. So good. Anyway, there was a commercial talking about the dogs, if you're hot, they're hot. Years ago, I saw this a commercial. They're trying to tell you, you know, don't leave the dog in the car, you know. And so there's a dog in a car, which, I mean, that's problematic. They're doing it for the commercial. And... Uh, the, oh, here's what it opens with. It opens with an egg being cracked onto the sidewalk. And the egg starts frying on the sidewalk. And the voiceover goes, hot enough to fry an egg on the sidewalk? Hot enough to fry a dog's brain. <laughs> There's so little warning that they're gonna say that to you. <laughs> I was like, man, I've seen a lot in this world, but... Whew. Also, we're not cracking eggs onto sidewalks in order to gauge if our dog's brains are hot enough to be fried. Well, that's true. And d this commercial leads you to believe you're supposed to be walking around with an egg in the summer. Keep an egg in your glove box. Can I leave, can I leave my dog in here? Better crack an egg to make sure. Uh-oh. It's just too hot to leave you in the car. I believe we're at seven now, is that right? Yeah. Uh, I usually count backwards. Don't look at my closet. If you are there, hot. 
penny saved is a penny earned. Now, what do you think that means? Because I'll tell you what it really means. I, I think what it means is if you get money on payday yeah. and you immediately spend it, then it's like you're not working at all. You're not really doing it. You're just like, it's just going through you like diarrhea. <laughs> but if you save it, then it's like, wow, I really fucking, wow, I worked for that. Mm. That's an interesting interpretation. <laughs> Mine, essentially what I'm saying is, pennies are bullshit. <laughs> and that if you save pennies, you're earning it because that's like a job. <laughs> to cart a bunch of pennies around? <laughs> Get rid of them already. <laughs> Does anyone still collect those things? I mean, like... Oh, fucking kids. Like, what's, what should people collect? Like, $20 bills, maybe? Collect? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, who gives a shit if you have 100 pennies? I don't think people are collecting pennies in the way that you think they are. <laughs> They're collecting pennies with the, with the goal of turning them into yeah. actual money. No, I know. It's just like, back, back when I was a kid, it was like oh, these are pennies, and they're still worth something, but also some of them are worth a lot of money because oh, they're no, rare. Oh, no, the wheat penny bullshit and all yeah. that. The one, the silver penny. Yeah, the 1919 or S or whatever it is. Coins. <laughs> you know, coins everywhere the world over, they're a joke, man. <laughs> what, are we, what are we doing with this? Yeah. You think every place should be cashless? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you've always felt that way. Only kids should have cords to yeah. buy ice cream with. The end. But now with inflation, what I'm saying is like, let's stop. Ah! You don't like inflation? I don't want to hear about your earthly problems. <laughs> I don't want to get too in the weeds on this shit. Sorry, I meant Biden inflation. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, Dark Brandon. He's going to come and get you. What a dumb world. <laughs> so stupid. You see why I want to be dead? It's dumb. People are getting dumber, aren't they? I, I thought people would have sorted their shit out by now. Look good for a minute. When? Like the, the first... That day Trump got COVID? <laughs> Remember that? That was funny. <laughs> We had a good time that day. We did have a good time that day. <laughs> I was on multiple text threads with people. Like... With Ho-Ho? Ho-Ho. Oh, yeah. I was on a text thread with Ho-Ho that day. <laughs> <laughs> I miss that little guy thing. Yeah. yeah. You miss them. I haven't seen them in a while. Yeah, neither have I. Yeah. A little worried. It's been a few years that even you have... I mean, you work with... I have not seen Ho-Ho in actual years. Really? Yes. So an elf can just take off? No. That's the problem. <laughs> so you've enslaved them and you don't I, allow them to come leave? Come on! I haven't enslaved the... None of us asked for this. Do you understand? So they can't die either. Who did this to you? A witch? God! Oh, that the guy. The worst. You know it's true! <laughs> it's an idea that's outlived its usefulness. We shouldn't be doing this anymore. You know what I mean? The Santa Claus thing or the God? All of it! <laughs> <laughs> like, we're okay to take care of ourselves at this point. Yeah, and I mean, you know, parents can buy their kids presents. <laughs> right? I, some can't, though, Santa, and that's where you come yeah, in. Yeah, some can't, that's true. Yeah. Does it, doesn't it feel good to deliver a present to a, 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 a nice little boy or girl? Who... A needy child? Sure. Yeah, it does. Don't they, it's a lot like adopting or rescuing, as they say, your, your, your dog. What? They, they say they're more grateful. Well, is this like a who gave who a present? Is it me? I did. I'm Santa Claus. I gave the present. 
So do you just feel on December 26th, are you just emotionally drained and just spent? I'm, f man, I'm exhausted. The 26th of December, don't even talk to me. That includes Mrs. Claus. That includes everybody knows. Leave them alone. What I do is, December 26th, I reread all the Michael Crichton novels. All of them. All of them. So, Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. Disclosure. Disclosure. Uh, the Andromeda Strain, Rising Sun, Sphere. Well, he wrote a lot of those. The Running Man. Oh. <laughs> it's a Richard Bachman, I believe. Is that true? I believe it's a Richard Bachman joint. Man, I haven't looked at the cover in forever. It got mixed up in my Crichtons. What was number eight? <sighs> number eight. Did we do seven? We did do seven, yes. Okay. Number eight. There are no rules. I should have seen it coming. Yeah. It's fun, right? <laughs> That's fun. Like you hear those, although don't look in my closet. That's I'm just asking politely. You don't have anything you, weird in there, right? It's just you don't want people. Don't, hey, don't worry about what I got in there. Now I feel like you do have something weird in there. So what if I do? You got nothing weird in your house? In my house? Yeah. Or my closet? Is, do you have a special closet that's not in a house? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Pulling teeth with this guy. And that's your friend's job, right? The tooth fairy? <laughs> do you know there was a real tooth fairy? Really? There isn't anymore, but there used to be. Who was the tooth fairy? Oh, it was terrifying. <laughs> Let's just say it was somebody that was a little too into teeth. <laughs> we had to convince the tooth fairy to leave money. They were just gonna take the teeth. Just a freak who wanted baby teeth. <laughs> and we were like, you gotta give him something. Because what they were doing initially was pulling loose teeth out of the kids' heads. We were like, dude, just wait. <laughs> it must have been so long since you've had teeth taken out or... Or put in. <laughs> Be cool to have extra teeth. <sighs> okay. How... And where, how would it be cool? Why would it be cool? Where would the teeth be? Like on the outside, like where a goatee is? Like just teeth sticking out? That would be cool. Like you'd walk down the street with, with that, like a ring, an outer ring of teeth. Yeah. And they're not covered by anything. They're just sticking out of your skin. With all the body modification these days, I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. Okay, so what, what are the major body modifications that lead you to be surprised that no one has a goatee of teeth yet? Well, I just, I just remember in the 90s, everyone had those big earlobes. The gauges, yeah. yeah and you're yeah. like, I'm surprised no one has teeth sticking out of their face. Now that they're in their 50s, how many people thought that was a good idea? <laughs> I think you're committed. I think... No matter what age, you're like, this is me for life. For life? You still see him? I guess. Good guess, because you do. <laughs> so, Santa, those are your eight simple rules. What, what'd you call me? Santa Claus. Thank you. Eight simple rules for mortal For beings. mortals, yes. Yeah, for mortals. And of course, the, none of them are really real, except for I wish people would be nice and also don't look at my closet. So what are you doing here? I mean, it's August. It's San Francisco. What? I have to get, I have to get, I'm working on getting my beach body back for Australian Christmas. 
Oh, well, I didn't course, think about I'm that. Of course, I'm depicted as surfing and doing all that stuff, and so, you know. <laughs> but, but, okay. Australian Christmas doesn't happen in the summer. It happens when Christmas happens worldwide. Yeah. So. But it's summer there. So, yes, but it's winter here, and aren't, right. you, aren't you supposed to have your winter body for... I, I do. <laughs> you, you get how I'm supernatural, right? So, so you're going to have two different bodies. It's actually the same body, but I just wear a coat in places where it's winter. Here's the thing. If you see me in March, I'm way bigger than this. Like, way bigger. Okay. So I get down to classic Santa weight. Which is, like, super muscular and jacked? No. A jolly old elf with a uh, you know belly oh, okay. like a bowl full of jelly. So you get down to that. That's an intermediate step. Yes. Okay. No, that... Are you saying I... you're trying to lose weight in order to get to classic Santa? Yes, that's right. Because when you mention a beach bod... I didn't think this was hard. When you mentioned I a... said Santa beach bod. <laughs> no! Now he changes it. No. That's what I said the very first time. <laughs> to, qu- to quote the Jerky Boys, clean out your ears, Jerky. Direct quote. I thought you said the Jersey Boys. The Jersey Boys? <laughs> Clean out your ears, jerky. That's the Jersey Jerky Boys. Why didn't they do a mashup of that? Who would have done that? Mad TV? <laughs> I, I like the idea of the Jersey Boys calling businesses <laughs> and saying, Hey, Jersey. <laughs> Sizzle chest. <laughs> they would like sing prank calls over the phone. <laughs> How, how long would you give that if somebody was singing a prank call at you? Would you I might listen to the whole thing, honestly. Know, it depends on how bored I if was. Are they good voices? Yeah. What was that guy's name? Not Paul Anka. Frankie Valley. Frankie Valley. Frankie Valley of the Four Seasons. Slow though I walk through the Frankie the Valley. The Frankie Valley of Death. <laughs> a lot of prepositions in that verse of Scripture. Yeah. Let's, though I walk... Through the valley of the shadow of death. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. It's like God needs an editor sometimes, don't you think? Yeah. Look at flies. (laughs) Flies and mosquitoes. We don't need them anymore. How about gnats? Ugh. Just make a little robot that... (laughs) Yeah, whatever. For whatever frog needs to eat that. What... Like, people are all concerned about the bees going away. We have robots and drones that can do whatever they do. We got robots and drones to take the place of bees. <laughs> we we got, need bees, though. Bees are great. Bumblebees? Come on. Adorable. But adorable? Yeah. You ever get stung by a bee, Santa? Nope. Well, you'd change your tune real fucking fast. Well, maybe you should try being immortal, dumb shit. So, wait, you feel no pain? No, just no bees will ever sting me. I didn't know that was one of the immortal rules. I could pick up a can of soda swarming with yellow jackets and be like, ooh, orange slice, don't mind if I do. Good, 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 good. They'll fucking fly away. Seems unfair. Maybe. (laughs) How'd you like to deliver presents to kids around the world in one day for the rest of your life? I would love to only work one day a year. You... Little. How dare you? How dare I? You have no idea what I go through. Oh, really? Why don't you educate me, Santa Claus? Okay. Okay. When it's midnight, North Pole time, I go to work. I load up the sleigh. And let me tell you something. That's no mean feat, Jack. Have I preloaded some of the stuff? Yeah, I have. (laughs) But I'm putting stuff in there for the whole Christian world. So like, North America, England. You think those are the only... (laughs) There's Christians all over the world. It sucks. There should be a Christian Israel where it's just like, you guys all go there. 
If we want to be Christians, we'll come over and visit. <laughs> so, okay, so your one day is very difficult. You have to load difficult. things. I got to go all over the place, kind of all at the same time. Right. That's, and, and do you get tired the same way a human would get tired? Or Yeah. Hmm. Sucks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking exhausted. Well, I'm sorry. I guess I didn't think about it that way, Santa Nobody Claus. Nobody ever does. You, you know, Santa Claus, you're pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Sorry I was being so hard on you earlier. Yeah, it's all right. I get it. You get it, though. Yeah, people have a lot of ideas. You know, I, I just did that uh, thing where you swim from Alcatraz. <laughs> it's part of my workout. You take a ferry over there, they drop you off. Then you gotta swim home. You have to. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> Does anyone tap out at any point and just say like, hey, send another ferry back? There's a, there's a few guys <laughs> I saw that were like, this is not what I expected it to be. <laughs> Looks, it looked like a shorter distance on the map. Yeah, how far is it? Is it, I mean, I, I feel like I could swim like a quarter of a mile. Is it that long? It's a little longer than that. <laughs> Here's how long it is. That when you're almost there, you're still thinking, I wish I hadn't done this. <laughs> like you could be a yard from shore and you're like, this was a bad idea. It's freezing cold. No sharks anymore. Oh, is that news. right? Yeah. Really? What happened to him? Water's too salty. No, wait, not salty enough? I can't remember which. <laughs> whatever it is they like, it's the other one. Why not do that to every ocean, whatever it is? So we just get rid of the sharks. I don't know that anyone did that to the ocean. <laughs> on purpose. I don't know if it was out there with like a big tub of Morton salt. Just <laughs> <laughs> this will get rid of them. <laughs> we don't have prisoners in Alcatraz anymore. We don't need the sharks. <laughs> it's like a, a moat. <laughs> San Francisco's moat. Well, Santa, I'm, I'm glad to see you. It's August. I'm glad to see you. I'm Santa Claus. Thank you. I beg your pardon. It's good to see you. It really is. It's good to see you, Scott. Yeah. You we've, should... had our, we've, had our, <laughs> we've had our differences, right? We certainly have. Yes. I've beat the shit out of you a few times. <laughs> a few times. <laughs> And you probably will beat the shit out of me many I'm more. I'm sure I will. <laughs> but ultimately, we are very good friends. <laughs> the best. If not the best of friends. <laughs> of course. I love you, Santa. I love you, Scott. <laughs> Santa Claus, everyone. <laughs> now we go into our pockets for various things. Everybody's got stuff in their pockets. Isn't that fun? <laughs> oh, you're pretending to mop your brow with your phone. That's fun. <laughs> you're silly. And you're serious. Yeah, I guess I am. Yeah. <laughs> Together we make <laughs> quite a pair. <laughs> what? I see why so many songs are about you, but not sung by you. I think I... Oh, come on. Come on. When the moon is in the seventh house and Jupiter aligned with You sound like a ghost. <laughs> because of my vibrato. Oh, the moon. That's not what I sounded like. That's what like. you sound like exactly. <laughs> Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. Chilling. <laughs> Can't believe you'd embarrass me in front of San Francisco singing a San Francisco song. <laughs> Are you going to San Francisco? Be sure to wear some flowers in your hair. I like how the song starts with a question and then it's just instructions. Yeah. Oh, you're going to San Francisco? Yeah. Oh, where's the flowers in your hair? Uh, you're going to see some beautiful people there. 
It's like, hey, what's the fuck? I just sat down on this plane, dude. <laughs> Give me two seconds to put my bag under the seat. Also, you know I am. It's a flight to San Francisco. You're going there too, stupid. I didn't know that song took place on a plane. <laughs> Not many songs actually take place on a plane. No. Not enough. Not even leaving on a jet plane. No, he's talking about the next day. Yeah. Yeah. Giving a, giving a heads up. <laughs> <laughs> leaving an answering uh, machine message is an the way I heard it. message. Yeah. Hi, you've reached <laughs> Betty, Bill, and the kids. Remember when people do shit like that? Yeah. yeah. Now no one gives a shit. No, it's just... <laughs> you have reached the voicemail box of one, two, three, four... <laughs> All the fun has been sapped out of the world. Don't you agree? Yeah, I used to have a funny answering machine message, like just a little joke on there. Really? Like you and Mrs. Claus? roasted for it. Really? People were like, oh my God, he has a funny answering machine? (laughs) Funny voicemail? Like, come on. (laughs) Life's too short. Have some fun. Yeah, seriously. Well, you ready to have some fun with our uh, next guest? Yeah! Yeah. He is a hometown hero... This is very exciting. He, you may know him. He was a football player who came from here. He played for the Buffalo Bills. He was the star of the Naked Gun films, and then I lost track of him around 1992. Please welcome O.J. Simpson. Oh my, oh my, it is so good to be home, let me tell you that. I'm from right here, where are my SF locals? Yes, <laughs> Galileo High School class of 63. Anybody else went to Galileo? Wow. Wow, the majority of the room. You know, the motto of Galileo High School is always be silent. So that means most of the people in here went there, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Scott! OJ, the juice! My good friend, Scott. You know what? When you told me you were coming here, and you said there's no other person I want by my side always than OJ Simpson. Look, I love you, Juice. i I'm a big, huge fan of yours in the 70s, the 80s. Like I said, don't really know what you were up to in the 90s. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A lot of things. But, Scott, I just want to tell you before I get out of here. Wait. I, <laughs> OJ, stick around. You, you just walked out. I, I got to take off soon. But <laughs> I'm just so happy to be here with you and my good buddy, St. Nicholas. Wow. It's been a while, Drew. Santa Claus. It's been a while. You were such a nice little, uh, nice little kid. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> Take care. All right. <laughs> Scott, before I, I got to go, but... <laughs> I, I flew you all the way out here, Juice. I would, you did. <laughs> you did. Yeah, I'd love for you to stick around a little bit longer. I'm so happy you chose to fly me first class. I did not choose that. I, this is news to me right now. <laughs> Scott, for those of you who don't know, Scott is a real minch. He flew me out first class. He said, when, I, when, I'm, when my buddy OJ is traveling, I got to set him up with the nicest accommodations. He's got me up at the Kempton Hotel. <laughs> the, uh, I got two rooms. <laughs> really? Non-adjoining. <laughs> get your steps in as you walk back and get forth. Get my steps in, you know. You got to get your exercise in. Because I tell you, it goes real fast, you know. I used to be in such good shape when I was running the streets of San Francisco. <laughs> Hate, Ashbury, <laughs> Geary, Eddie, Polk, that one. First, first, second, <laughs> third. So wait, OJ, you got two hotel rooms? 
I got two hotel rooms. Is that because sometimes you're in a hotel room and you're like, I want to get into another hotel room really fast. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you can't stay in one hotel room. Yeah. Because, you know, when people find out you're staying there, they like to get autographs and things. Right. They like to bang on your door with pitchforks and stuff. And... <laughs> You know, you just gotta go find another place to stay and another yeah. place to be, you know, but I'm, I'm happy to be here at the old Kempton. <laughs> you, you, you said that word mensch. Yeah. Do, do you have a lot of Jewish friends, a lot of- uh, A ton. A lot of families that you- A ton of Jewish friends. I'm very well respected in the Jewish community. <laughs> Any Jewish people here? <laughs> ah, yes. And how much do you love me? <laughs> ah. Galileo alum. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you've signed so many things, you know, so many autographs. Have you mm -hmm. ever wanted to get any autographs? Have I ever wanted to get autographs? <laughs> yeah, or memorabilia yeah. of any sort? Or yes. Ever had, like, a real strong desire to get some <laughs> memorabilia? Oh, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. What do we do? What, what do you mean, what Juice? Do do, Juice? You guys want me to talk about the one crime I committed. <laughs> Oats? O Oats J? <laughs> I think I called you. You Oats committed J. a crime? Oats, Oats J? Oats J Simpson. <laughs> Oats, Oats J. J. Was, which reminds me, I'm coming out with my own breakfast cereal. What? Oats J. Good timing. <laughs> <laughs> right after I misspoke and said it? Wow. You reminded me, Scott. Oh, great minds. Me, you, I, let me tell you something about... <laughs> let me tell you something about Scott Ackerman's and O.J. Simpson's adjoining brains. We think just alike. We think the same. I feel like we were separated at birth, Scott. I genuinely do. Oh. Well, I love you, Juice, obviously. I love you, you too, Scott. You Take won care. <laughs> no. <laughs> I saw you out there, by the way, I wanted to mention this, Juice. I saw you out there on uh, Twitter. You're very active on Twitter. Yes. And I, I love to tweet. Yeah. And you were talking about uh, defunding the police and how you didn't agree with that. <laughs> You know what, Scott? I know a lot of people who work in law enforcement. Really good, strong men and women in the law enforcement. And I, 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 I just don't think that defunding the police is the, is the best thing to do. Or, or, you know, when these people say abolish the police, I just don't know if that's the right thing to do because there's a lot of good police out there helping solve crimes. And they usually get things exactly right. <laughs> How, how, like, how many times out of ten would you say they got things exactly right? I would say <laughs> uh, nine times out of ten they get things exactly right. And then sometimes there's a misstep, you know? Right. Sometimes an innocent man has to go down for something, you know? But usually they figure it out in the end. And sometimes I, nobody goes down for There's something. a lot of bad... There's a, yeah, sometimes nobody goes down for things. And, and there's, a, there's... I believe in our justice system. I believe it's fair and just... <laughs> In a lot of ways. It's right there in the title, just. 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 Let's break that word down. Let's do it. Just ice. You never want to drink a drink that's not... I, I hate hot drinks. <laughs> you hate all hot drinks? I hate hot drinks. Coco? I like cold co. You drink cold co? Cold co. <laughs> not not <co> cold. <laughs> See, it, but I, but w when you said just ice is bad, isn't that well, who a said that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I said that. I said justice. We broke the word down though to its root words. Right. Just Latin. You yeah. You said you never want to drink a drink that's just ice, and then you moved. On. <laughs> You never want to drink a drink that's just ice. You have to put a liquid into the ice. I got you, Scott. Like OJ. <laughs> I'm just saying, take care. 
Where's the nearest exit? I'm gonna. <laughs> no, please, please stick I'm around. Gonna take off. Where's the stick nearest? Stick around. It's great to it's great to have you here. Oh, look at this beautiful theater, Scott. It is a beautiful. Are you theater. enjoying the town of San Francisco? I just got here. I walked to a Macy's. I walked back. Ah, oh, yes. The end. Scott was walking around San Francisco, balls out. <laughs> I, where did you read that? Did you read that on that where website? Where did I read it? I saw it as we exited the plane. Balls out, gray sweats, gray sweat shorts. Oh, it was a real show for everyone in the airport. I just, I saw some people taking pictures for that website that got really popular last week. Are yes. you talking about <laughs> Reddit, Reddit for, for balls. balls? Reddit for balls, yes. That's I mean, ours, isn't it? Yeah, you and I yeah, came up with it. Yeah. <laughs> and our friend, uh, Buddy. Who? Buddy. Ah, yes, Buddy. Buddy. <laughs> you don't remember Buddy? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time, Scott. It sounds like I'm lying, because I'm like, my friend, uh, Buddy. <laughs> buddy. It's been a long time, and before I get out of here... <laughs> see, <laughs> I just want to say what an honor it is. All these beautiful faces. All these beautiful San Francisco faces. Beautiful Galileo faces. High School alums. They're really one of the more beautiful crowds we performed in front of. Because oh usually, usually there's Sexy a lot of crowds. uggos. Hmm? Yes. Oh, my God. A ton of ugly people usually come to the shows. But tonight, everybody in here is fine as hell. Give yourselves that. a round of applause. Yeah. Good going. Going everybody. For your physical attributes. For your physical attributes and nothing else about yourselves. <laughs> you, you, uh, from what I recall, you like beautiful Total women. Total recall. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> what? You like beautiful women. Yes. <laughs> Full stop. <laughs> now, beautiful, them? alive women. <laughs> That, that's one way to describe a beautiful woman. You can describe people in many different ways. There's a whole book of adjectives. <laughs> so this is, I haven't seen this. This is the dictionary where they cut out anything that's not an adjective. There's dictionaries. There's thesauri. That's the pr plural word for thesaurus. <laughs> And there's the book of adjectives. Yes. <laughs> it's a good book. You brought me one for Christmas one yes, year. Yes, I did. Yeah. You were nine years old. Nine years old. Running the streets of San Francisco. That's right. Still believing Reading in Santa Reading my book Claus. of adjectives. That's right. Learning how to describe the women of this town. I remember watching you sleep, and you would just be saying in your sleep, round. <laughs> Adjacent. <laughs> Spectacular. Yes. <laughs> You've always been interested in adjectives, really. Always. <laughs> <laughs> it's always been my thing, Scotty D. <laughs> Were you leading to something, Scotty D? Nope. All right, well, I guess I'll take off. Then. <laughs> no, 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 no. Stick around, OJ. What, what is an O.J. Simpson up to now? Obviously, the last couple of decades, you haven't been out there in the forefront? No, I haven't been in the forefront. I've been in the, in the five back. But I... You were, you were doing five. <laughs> five to ten. <laughs> 33. But I got loose. The juice became loose after ten yeah. years. 33, that is... Uh, the number Jesus was age-wise mm -hmm. when he did the, the old... The number Jesus was age-wise. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, yes, that was the number he was age-wise. Yeah. <laughs> I made it there tight. <laughs> did, did you ever wear the number 33? In no, any of your... I wore the number 32. Man, just that far that off. That close. Yep. You know what else 33 is? They used to, that's how uh, newspaper uh, writers used to end their columns, was with the number 33. Speaking of writing juice, 
Have you ever thought about writing a book? <laughs> you know, I haven't thought about it in a long time, but if I did it, I think it would be, I think it would be a really good book. <laughs> if I chose to do as such. <laughs> If you chose, if you chose, to if do I it. chose to do as such, but if you decide, you know, I'm not a big technology guy. All I do is go on my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and tweet and make front-facing videos from the golf course. It looks like from the golf course. You know, I love swiping on TikTok. Have you seen this? You love swiping on TikTok. Yeah, I go like that. I think that's isn't that oh oh. What? <laughs> I do it for my big iPad I have on the wall. Yeah. Reminded me of, just reminded me of something else. I don't know. It's lost now. <laughs> so you, you scroll on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. I so you're just it. out there going like. Yeah. Just all day on my big iPad wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you don't go down. That's the videos that you've seen before. Oh. You go okay. up. Right. My mistake. Right, right. Your mistake. So you got, go up. Yeah. And then what do you do? Keep going up. <laughs> Keep going up. Keep what, going up. What do you up. like on TikTok? What are your favorites? My favorite, <laughs> my favorite TikTok videos are the cooking ones. Mm. I love to see somebody cooking on TikTok. Anybody out there a TikToker? Well, scan the QR code, and uh, when when prompted, add your TikTok, and we'll all see it. <laughs> That's right. Tonight, you can be part of the show. Point your phone's camera at the QR code, and eventually you'll see yourself up on the big screen. Thank you for coming out. <laughs> no, the show's not done. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Head to the head right there. <laughs> Cooking videos. Cooking videos. The dances that they do. Like what? Show us one of the dances. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> No. Aren't you a good dancer? I saw you doing, uh, like, there's that statue where you're, like, doing the thing. The Heisman. I won yeah. one of those. Yeah. 1966 or yeah. 8. And you were, like you're, I saw you had the old Samsonite commercial, right, where you're jumping over luggage and stuff Ah, like yes. Wait, Wait Samsonite. Hurts. Hurts. Avis. Hurts. Avis. Hurts. Not Avis? Not Avis. Are you sure? Yeah. Hurts. Have Hurts. you ever heard that in your life? <laughs> Yeah, I talk about football a lot, and the quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles' name is Jalen Hurts. And I talk about him quite a bit in my... That's the only time I ever hear it. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> well, I guess that means I gotta go, Scott. <laughs> I just wanted to call your bluff for a second to see if you actually would leave. <laughs> you, know, you, you want to see it? No, I'm going to stay. <laughs> Marvel at the theater. You know, I was born in this theater, Scott. You were born in this very theater. I was born right here in these seats, each and every one of them. This used to be a silent movie theater. Okay? Silent movie theater. Yeah. I saw The Creature from the Black Lagoon right here. That movie with all the talking in it? Yeah. <laughs> the sound wasn't working that night. No. <laughs> they didn't have all these new fancy speakers that they have now. You know, all this new technology stuff, I tell you. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. Thank you. Nice of you to say, OJ. Are you friends with Jesus? <laughs> um, we're like work friends, I guess. Oh, work friends. <laughs> work do, friends. do you guys ever cross, cross paths? <laughs> C-R-O-Z. <laughs> We've crossed paths occasionally. Uh, you know, he has a birthday party every year on Christmas. Right. And I always put in an appearance. Mm -hmm. Which is you the do. last thing I need. <laughs> I would, uh, you have the perfect excuse to be like, not going to make it this year. I peace Jesus, though. <laughs> Do you think that you, you might die at some point and then you want to go up, you know? I hope so. But I don't want to go anywhere. I just want oblivion. <laughs> God, that's morbid to contemplate, isn't it, OJ? I mean, very morbid. But it gave me a thought. 
I never want to die. Really? What if we switch places? You and me, OJ? You, OJ Simpson, imminent death coming soon. As a, I'm an older man. I think it would be amazing to have you coming down people's chimneys every, every year. <laughs> Once a year, every year. No matter your religion, I'll be there. O.J. Simpson, in your living room, make sure you leave cookies out. Or a pound cake. With a lemon icing. I mean, there, there is a uniform that you'd have to wear. There's the... Uh, you know, the Santa suit, there's mm -hmm. the gloves. Ah. <laughs> Interesting. Now, the gloves, I, I don't know if we're the same hand size. <laughs> so I don't know if my gloves would, would fit. Mm. That would be a shame. <laughs> when it, gloves don't fit, it's a real shame. If the glove... <laughs> if the glove mm -hmm. doesn't fit, mm -hmm. you must... Acquit yourself in some other way. Yeah. Perhaps you could wear your football uniform. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> if the glove don't fit, I am St. Nick. <laughs> it would be such a fun job. I love the kids. Yeah. Bringing gifts. Who groaned at that? Who doesn't love kids? <laughs> i tell you one guy who doesn't, Michael Jordan. Oh, he does not <laughs> like kids. Doesn't he have a catchphrase about that? I think so. <laughs> I think it's something like, uh, if I could be like Mike, or, uh, For, fuck forget them kids. about it. Oh, fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. <laughs> fuck them kids. Well, OJ, I hope you get the job. I would love the job. Oh, wouldn't you all want to see me coming down your chimneys in his every Christmas football uniform? It's a lot of mm. people. A lot of people, some people aren't clapping for that. I'll see you after the show. <laughs> Did that sound threatening? I didn't mean it to. No, you're, you're just, just a big lovable teddy bear. Big lovable teddy bear. I hug everybody, no matter the pandemic. <laughs> you sometimes would squeeze people so hard that... <sighs> what? <laughs> what would happen, Scott? that they would say, hey, too much. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm just saying. Take care. Take care. <laughs> Milk and cookies, you, you have Milk and those? cookies. Yeah. Lemon pound cake. Right, with the icing. With icing. Yeah. <laughs> what other desserts? <laughs> blackberry cobbler. Leave out a big old pan of blackberry cobbler for me. It doesn't have to be hot. How do you feel about New York cheesecake? Not a big fan. Oh. Are but, there a lot of people leaving cheesecakes out for you, Santa? Uh, no, and I wish they would. <laughs> What's your favorite cheesecake topping, Santa? Mm, I guess maybe strawberries. Strawberry, classic. Cla I, I like it without the topping, actually. Just a nice, dense cheesecake. Hey, thanks. <laughs> like, the cheesecake's fine on its own. It doesn't need the help of fruit. I like Cheesecake Factory's variety. Sure. The birthday cake one. <laughs> yeah. I get one every year on my birthday. Do you? You go to Cheesecake Factory? I go to Cheesecake Factory every year. You open year. up that manuscript? Open up that manuscript. <laughs> cut open that brown bread. Just hack out a little bit. It gets a little tough. Yeah. Put some butter on it. <laughs> right. Slurp it down. <laughs> yes, I dip it in my water first. Oh, sure. Yeah. So you cut it open just like... Just God, sort of. you've been leading at things tonight. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Juice. I'm such a big fan. I don't know what you're talking about, Scott. But I'm going to get on out of here. <laughs> no, no, Juice. <laughs> I want you to stick around. Thank you for leaving me this water. <laughs> it's hot as hell up here. It is hot as hell up here. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, O.J. Simpson, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I need a towel.
I think we all do. We have another guest. I'm going to reach down and get some of mine. Oh, yeah? Actually. Yeah. Oh, there it is. We have one more guest. Oh, wow. Uh, Santa, you, I mean, you know everyone, so obviously you know this guy. Of course I do. This guy doesn't need any introduction when it comes to you. Nope. You'll recognize him right away. Yes, I will. As will all of our listeners, because he's such a hugely important guest. Yeah. <laughs> such a huge, huge, char- uh, I mean, person who's on the show. Uh, he has been on twice, I believe. He is a limo driver who drives beauty queens around. Please welcome Fred Head. Hello, my name is Fred Head. How we doing, Scott? OJ. How you doing, Fred? Good, man. Santa Claus, what's happening? Hi, Fred. Hey. Ho-ho! I am loving it here, Scott. Loving it here in San Francisco? In San Francisco, yep. I went down, yeah, I had me a... A uh, uh, bread bowl. Down the- Sands the chowder. <laughs> what oh, kind of bread? The chow chow, please. What kind of bread, Fred? It was sourdough. Yeah. Did you dip it in any water? <laughs> you know I dipped it in water. Uh, uh, my man, Fred Head. I can put the water dip on it. I rode the trolley. <laughs> Which one? The one on First Street. Just like my childhood. (laughs) I'm loving all the streets here. Y'all liking them? You were liking them, too. (laughs) (laughs) Well, welcome to uh, San Francisco. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Man, this is a a good time out here. (laughs) Really fun. Some good stuff. Really good stuff. I ain't never been on a plane before. You took a plane here. I took a plane here. You, you've never been on a plane before. That surprises me. It was wow. I drive. I drive beauty queens. Yeah, explain. Very important character from right. the show. <laughs> explain your, your whole thing because you... It's very complicated. I drive beauty queens. So you know you go to a parade... You see a man who's in a convertible, who's got a cell phone holder on his hip, and he probably yells at his family. (laughs) And he's got a little bath mat on the back, and he's got him a beauty queen up on there. That's me. Thank you. That's, That's the long and the short of it. That's it. And I drive beauty queens around. I just got uh, done driving uh, Miss Sweet Onion in the Blueberry Festival Parade. <laughs> okay, so Sounds beautiful. the Blueberry Festival has a Miss Sweet Onion. <laughs> That's right. They kind of got tired of what their festival was about. And they said, let's go over to a vegetable Looking for something a little more savory. Exactly, yeah. And she was sweet. She was sweet. Uh, we took her around the block. Um, everybody waved. She threw out candy. Hit some old lady in the face with a hard peppermint. <laughs> so, Miss Sweet Onion is throwing candy. Yes, yeah, that's kind of the thing. If you're a beauty queen and you drive around, you need to throw candy. And it, uh, it gets people to kind of leave their seats. Children come and they get the candy. And then they get to see the little hand-drawn sign that I've laid over the side of my driver's door. What is the sign? I, I, I guess I don't know what you mean by that. It says Little Miss Sweet oh. Onion. <laughs> and you're at the Blueberry Festival. Wait. Just kind of a reminder. <laughs> of all of the basic details. Exactly. I yeah. didn't realize that you were responsible for the sign. Like, when, when <laughs> yeah. you're contracted to do this, yeah. what are all of your responsibilities? Well, I got to have the car. Of course. First yeah. and foremost, Absolutely. I got a 1988 Chevrolet Camaro in Sahara Yellow. 
Lovely color. Beautiful color. And yeah, I have to make the sign. I have to provide the bucket of candy. <laughs> and, I, and then sometimes I get to suggest a route. I thought you were saying it's just around the block. Yeah, it's usually around the block, a few tight rights. And so like, what's a route that you would suggest that <laughs> maybe deviates from that? I would say, let's keep going straight. Right. More parade style. Exactly. Yeah. Why are we going in such hard rights? <laughs> right. This parade's too short. I was done with it in less than six minutes. Is it essentially four very short parades? <laughs> That's right, it's four different parades. So I'll change queens right when I take a right. What? I certainly will. I put, I'll kick Little Miss Sweet Onion on and on comes Junior Miss Chicken Taquito. Oh, oh. just one taquito, one taquito. It's not taquitos. Just right. one meager taquito. Miss and Chicken Taquito, yeah. Where does, that, where does that title be? Where is that bestowed? At that pageant? Yeah, what pageant is that? Oh, that's the, that's the taquito pageants. Uh -huh. But what parade is Miss Taquito in? Miss Taquito. <laughs> <laughs> Little ju what it's was, junior. Uh, was it Junior Miss Taquito? Junior Miss Chicken Taquito. Junior Miss Chicken Taquito. A lot of qualifiers on this particular pageant. Yeah, Little Miss, Junior Miss, um, and Sweet then Chicken. Chicken? <laughs> is oh, there, there's a beef taquito. Is there a... And a cheese taquito. I wish I could drive them. Is uh, there a... For the Mrs. vegetarians. <laughs> what? The cheese taquito for the vegetarians. <laughs> I'm just saying. But not the vegans. Not the vegans. They have to eat something else. Yeah. <laughs> They do. They can eat the shell, I guess. They do. They eat the shell. You just break off the end of the taquito and then, like, sh shake all the shake stuff out. <laughs> yeah. Just eat that shell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, things are going really good. I mean, you, got, you know I come from a long line of uh, parade driver people. That's right, yes. I do know yes, that. Yes, yeah. My dad drove a uh, Little Miss Model T in the Great Depression procession. And how, how old are you, Fred? <laughs> Does that timeline not work out? I mean, it, it all depends on your answer. Yeah, that was 80 years ago. So, no, 90 years ago. Well, I'm 56 years old. Oh, wow. So you were kind of a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> so that would make me a surprise. <laughs> People drove younger in the Depression. True. So his father could have been anywhere between ages 4 and 17. <laughs> true. That's true. That's true. That's true. And his dad drove a Miss TV dinner <laughs> in the tuberculosis parade. <laughs> Wow. So he, okay. <laughs> so, so, so your father. Your grandfather. Yeah, yeah, this all checks out. <laughs> Time-wise, this works. Can we just take a second to remark at the history of television dinners? It's amazing. Not television themselves. No. But the dinner is supplied dinners. to watch. Well, they, tele television dinners inspire the television to be created. Absolutely. <laughs> first they had this little shitty meal and they were like what are we going to do when we eat this crap we're just staring at the wall <laughs> we're sitting side by side of the couch eating on trays looking at the wall I've got to distract myself from this Salisbury steak But yeah, things are going good, Scott. <laughs> things are going really good. I actually, uh, I got a bunch of gigs lined up. Oh, you do? Oh, I great. actually have my calendar on me. Oh, please. I would love to hear some of these Yeah, gigs. yeah, yeah. I got a few of these. I got coming up. They're pretty fun. Um, I'm, I'm driving Miss Coconut Meat at the Climate Deniers Motorcade. <laughs> Do 
Very different from Miss Coconut Shell. Oh, of course. Um, yeah, so that's going to be really fun for me. I'm excited to get the old Camaro out for that. Where does the motorcade go, the Climate Denier motorcade? <laughs> it goes over some icebergs and melts them. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So they deny that there's climate change, but then they're actively melting icebergs. Yeah, they're melting glaciers and booing polar bears. Oh, just booing them. They're just boo. Throwing candy, hitting polar bears in the head. I'm just driving. Okay, I don't agree with this. Uh, I got to take the gig. Yeah, you got to dust the old Camaro off. (laughs) I got to, because it's dusty. Sahara yellow means it is sandy. That's part of the paint job. Like a desert. You get it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I got to, I'm driving Little Miss Bitcoin uh, at the Barada Cantata. I'm excited about that. You're excited about that one. Very excited about that one. Wow. The Barada Cantata is very fun. That is, um, it's a musical about really um, uh, watery cheese. (laughs) You're driving someone (laughs) at a musical? (laughs) Barada Cantata. That's it, OJ. What a wonderful phrase. That was the original version of that song. How's it, it going means, now? It means wet cheddar <laughs> for the rest of your days. <laughs> it's an appetizer. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> Which, where else are you going? I'm going, to, uh, I'm driving Junior Miss Boil in a Bag Rice at the Empty Hand Sanitizer Machine Festival. (laughs) These things are taking off, these empty hand sanitizers. (laughs) They're everywhere. (laughs) People love them. I can't go anywhere without putting my hands under. I'm like an idiot. (laughs) Standing there for 15, 20 minutes while people without wearing masks on laugh at me. (laughs) And people are like, (laughs) we gotta make this a festival. There's so many of them. I'm driving one of the Mythbusters at the Turkey Leg Hoedown. That's gonna be fun. That one's fun. I'm really excited about that one, as opposed to the other ones, which I am very excited about. Is there any particular myth that he's looking to bust at the Turkey Leg Hoedown? (laughs) Yeah, he's... He doesn't think you can dance a whole hoedown with a turkey leg. (laughs) Like in place of a human leg? Okay. Because how would it support your weight? So this is a hoedown (laughs) for people who have turkey leg. turkey leg. And sometimes it's like an an actual turkey leg, like you would get at Disneyland, like, oh my God, that man's got a turkey leg. (laughs) And sometimes it's just one skinny leg, you know what I mean? (laughs) So they're kind of making fun of them. Yes, turkeys are famous for their skinny legs. (laughs) Skinnier than a human, certainly. Certainly. (laughs) I get you. Thank you, Scott. I mean, there is a turkey in my gym that can squat about 375. Whoa. Yeah. I played on the bills with a turkey. (laughs) Really? Yeah. He wasn't very good. He wasn't good? Yeah. I'm excited to drive the Myth Buster, though. They actually broke up. They did? Really? Myth Myth and Buster. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. And so did Dave and Buster. No. Yep, they broke up. Do you think Buster and Buster will get together? (laughs) If you add Buster Poindexter to that. I hope so. They're going to be, you know, they're going to open an establishment that sees if you can run a pinball machine off of a bunch of potatoes hooked up together. (laughs) (laughs) Is that what the Mythbusters do? Yeah, that's what the Mythbusters do. They see if how many potatoes can run a pinball machine. And yeah, because the myth is one potato. <laughs> That's crazy. It's at least six potatoes. 
The starchers should be able to do it. Very starchy food, potatoes. I'm just saying. <laughs> we, we know. We know. Your opinions are getting wild, OJ. <laughs> what else you got there? Are, are you excited about anything else? Yeah, I'm driving the real Bigfoot um, <laughs> at the vehicular homicide slip and slide. So that's going to be very fun for me to have the real Bigfoot on the back of the Camaro. He has requested to be driven fast, so any photos of him are very blurry. So I'm gonna have to take the outside lane, which actually might help out for the vehicular homicide slip and slide, because I might hit somebody. Yes, we understand. And that's a fun festival, you know. They got a big, huge slip and slide, and people who have been convicted of vehicular homicide get a day off from jail, and they get, they go out oh. and they do it, and people clap. They get a day off from jail. You haven't heard his day off from jail thing. I, I'm not, and people and people clap for them when they go down the slide. <laughs> people clap. Um, yeah, I, I got another one. I'm, I'm driving white, right wing grandmother um, at the GMO road show. <laughs> now, are you excited by that one? No. <laughs> we don't have to talk about that one much. <laughs> What's the next one? Uh, this one might not work either. I'm losing faith in most of these. Yours started so strong. <laughs> and then one speed bump? I mean, you, you have to, you're a driver. You have to be used to speed bumps. You're right. You're right. I got to keep going. What do you do when you see a speed bump when you're driving? I slow down. I hold the queen. You know how your mom gives you that seatbelt over there? Mm -hmm. I hold the queen. We go over it real slow. And I say, you good? And then we keep going. Has that ever worked? Like yeah. any mom doing that? <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, it does not fare well for the mother. <laughs> My mom saved me, but yeah. went through the windshield. Exactly. Herself. She should do it to herself. Moms, you got to turn that hand around on you. It's like they say on an airplane, which I just learned. <laughs> Call back. <laughs> You got to secure your own mask before you help others. That's right. That's right. A lot of times that forced seatbelt on a child can be detrimental to the mother's health. It can. Yeah. It can. The, the, the energy of pushing away from the seat. Exactly. Pushing yourself. It propels forward. you through the propels window. Propels you forward through yeah. the window. Yes. Mm. Oh. Also, you're taking a hand off the wheel. That's not good. No. <laughs> I'm driving Tiny Tony at opposite Mardi Gras. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> What, what is opposite Mardi Gras? So opposite Mardi Gras is when you show your butt and you give away beads. That checks out. <laughs> I'd like to know more about Tiny Tony. <laughs> Tony. That explains itself, doesn't it? <laughs> Tiny, Tiny Tony, a local... Tiny Tony is a, a little dude who swears he's the tiniest Tony in the world. <laughs> How, how tall is and he? And it ain't true. He's 5'10". I'm like, Tony, you ain't the tiniest Tony. I know two Tonys tinier than you, Tony. Not, not to mention all the kids named Tony. All of them. And he specifically says, I'm counting kids. And I'm like, Tony, there's a newborn Tony. But still, people love to see him. They love to see him. He puts a jewel in his belly button and kind of does his belly. I love him. He's fun. You're describing him. I want to see this. He's a fun guy. I'm driving human Arnold Palmer at the Rigor Mortis Circus. So you just wanted to clarify because... 
So no one would expect an actual drink in the backseat of your Exactly. Com- well, no, this is a man who is half man, half lemonade. <laughs> Now, is, is he sweet? He's unsweet tea. Unsweet. And sugar-free lemonade. Oh. <laughs> and he's not tea at all. <laughs> he's half human. He's not tea at all. <laughs> How do the haves distribute themselves? <laughs> you know those... Uh, those little things you make at a fair where you put different color sand in? Yes. And it stacks up? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, you, come on. I love those. Santa Claus, you know, you've had to have given one of those to a kid as a gift. No, what, do kids play with them? <laughs> no, you just, like, sit them on a you desk. sit them. Oh, yeah, a lot of kids ask me for those. <laughs> hey, Santa, I need something for my desk. <laughs> right next to my inbox. I don't want a Newton's cradle that's played out. Yeah, and seen those of different, all different kind of colors, sure, rainbow colors. Sure. Sometimes you put them on the bathroom sink. Yes, you can switch up. You can put it in any stationary location. Any stationary. <laughs> and OJ, what are they shaped like? Like just like little logs? Usually a glass bottle. Glass bottle, yeah. With a cork, perhaps. You don't yeah. know these, Santa? I think I know what you mean, yeah. Anyway, it's flesh, lemonade, flesh, lemonade, flesh, lemonade, oh, like- flesh, lemonade, flesh, lemonade, flesh. And then it's all lemonade up here. It's like a roll of <laughs> life. You know how when they make an Arnold Palmer and I'm like, I'm just drinking tea if I use a straw and then eventually it's going to be lemonade. You didn't even mix this shit up. Okay, Fred. Okay. I, I yell at waiters. Oh, I hate waiters. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't know that I we do. knew that about you. you. I yell, yell at, at staff. <laughs> That's an unattractive character trait. You... I'm working on it, but I will yell at staff. <laughs> well, they need, I, I, for one, am on your side. If I order an Arnold Palmer and they don't mix it, and it's just two thick things on top yeah, of each other. exactly. Thick lemonade, just thick like iced tea. Lemonade on the bottom. Yeah. What did I order? Oil and vinegar? Exactly. Jeez. You, you That's get... something I've said to a waiter. Juice, you ever get mad at a waiter? Oh. <laughs> I got a good story about that. I don't know that we have enough time for the story. Oh, no, but... I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're in the middle of uh, this big list yeah, here. We'll talk about it later. Okay, very good. <laughs> this was a, I, I recently got this booking. I'm driving Mr. Tahini Bikini at the I'm Having an Affair Street Fair. That's so, a fun one. So this gentleman wears a bikini <laughs> made of tahini. <laughs> yes. That's right. You okay. nailed it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then everyone who comes to the street fair is having... Yeah, they're filled with shame. <laughs> but this was just the best-looking man in a tahini bikini. Right. There are a lot of men who wear a Middle Eastern condiment as a bikini... Right. ...and strut on stage, sure. and then they get judged. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'd like to sign up for that one. <laughs> really? Are you going to wear like a, a hummus one piece? A hummus one puss. <laughs> a one puss. <laughs> a hummus one puss. Let, let me get a peek at that list so I know. Uh... Well, that's, that's all the bookings. Oh, no. Oh, but is there more on? <laughs> Sadly, there's more. <laughs> But I just, I just need to let you know that I have actually fallen on hard times. Oh, no, no. Fred had what? not what? you. How? Where? When? Why? I know. How, yeah. What? Huh? Huh? Uh. You, you've always seemed like you've had it so put I know together. I seem very fun, and I'm having fun out there, but this recession is real. I lost my car. 
No, mm. Fred. I had to pawn it. <gasps> you had to pawn the car? I went to a store that mostly sells used shotguns, and I gave him my car. And what did you ask for, price-wise? I said, give me what you think it's worth. <laughs> and? Again. And they gave me a little aluminum boat with a 9.9 .9 horsepower engine on it. <laughs> Wait, so you pawned your car for this other little, what, an aluminum boat, did you say? This is a bad deal. It was a bad deal. I'll say. But yeah, I've been having to just pull beauty queens around in a wheelbarrow, I found. You don't even push them. You're pulling. <laughs> do you, it's even harder. How do you do that? Do you tie a rope around your waist and then a rope to the wheelbarrow? Just, yeah, oh yeah, not a wagon. I wasn't thinking of a wagon. <laughs> I was thinking of a wheelbarrow. A wheelbarrow. <laughs> yes. I know the difference. <laughs> so what I do is, yeah, I, I turn it around with the two sticks facing my butt. The two sticks. <laughs> right. You use them as sort of handles. <laughs> Handle sticks, whatever. Ah, Handlestick Park. Anybody? <laughs> Candle Handle Park. I used to go to there as a child. <laughs> Beauty, are you just saying? I'm just saying. <laughs> Take care. Yeah, but it's been tough to get bookings, and I, but I do. It sounds I, like you had about ten bookings that you were excited well, to do. <laughs> those were meant. Those were meant to be said in the in the past tense. Those were bookings. Oh, I see. So I wasn't excited about them. I was excited to have done them. Oh, because right. you kept saying how excited you were to do them. Yeah, you, I must have future. misspoke on every one of them. I, I think you said the phrase coming up a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I, I started the bit saying, these are what's coming up. Uh-oh. <laughs> I meant those are ones I have done that were really fun. Got it, got it. Thanks for the clarification, Fred. Because, yeah, I even talked about the festivals. I'm like, they're going to be like this. Right, no, right. they were like that. Right, right, got it. So everything is just opposite where it exactly. was Exactly. The they clapped for the prisoners that had the day off. Right, got it. <laughs> remember the... No, I remember. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... What are the prisoners wearing when they march in the parade? Good question, Juice. Thank you so much, Sant. <laughs> oh, they let them go home and pick an outfit. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. It's very nice. But, but, just a bathing suit, I would imagine. Was that? Just, just a bathing suit, I would imagine. It's a slip and slide. Yeah, yeah. Most of them choose bathing suit. They'll wear a shirt because sometimes you slip and slide, they'll hurt your stomach. <laughs> you ever been on a too dry slide? Oh, man. <laughs> Tell it's me bad. It. Yeah. It's bad. No good. Yeah, so I'm having to drive uh, 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 other queens. I got, I, these are future books. Did, these oh, are okay. Okay. So you, you got your car back, or this is the wheelbarrow? No, this is the wheelbarrow that I pull the two sticks. Like a rickshaw. Right. Of sort. Kind of a rickshaw. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and the difference like a, between these and the previous ones are these are worse, or? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear them. And keep in mind, wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow. So I'm pulling Little Miss Bankrupt. <laughs> mm. In the No Nest Egg Parade. <laughs> Tell me about this parade. <laughs> the, the No Nest Egg Parade. <laughs> I don't know if I can explain it. <laughs> so you know what a nest egg is, right? Sure I do. Could you tell me? <laughs> It's like a saved up amount of money for a rainy day or when you retire or something like that. You kind of nailed it, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so these are people who have lost it abruptly. Right. They're just finding out their nest egg <laughs> just, is gone. They're finding they're it out just, at the parade. It's a, it's so a parade. Is it Wait. a surprise parade? <laughs> who organizes this? <laughs> the bank. 
<laughs> the bank, the bank knocks on your door and says, hey, just so you know, your step Iris toast. <laughs> and they still go to the parade. It's bank mandated. They're forced to go. Yeah, they're like, now go out, they go out. Pick up that tuba and march in that parade. <laughs> oh, they have to play in the band? That's lovely. It's tough. It's tough. So, yeah, I'm going to be pulling the wheelbarrow backwards there with Little Miss Bankrupt. Miss Multi-Level Marketing at the Madoff Playoff. <laughs> Bernie Madoff, an old pal of mine. Really? Yeah, we used to play golf together. Awesome. Was take, he good? He was, uh, no, no, no. Was, no. But take care. <laughs> you do love to say things into camera and drive off in a golf cart. Get in, loser. <laughs> We're taking people's money. So I, I got just a couple more that I'm excited about. Junior Miss Bad Credit at the Subprime Mortgage Tomato Fest. You're all getting very what? monetary. Yeah, why? If you're yeah, getting... I got stuck on this one. If... <laughs> what? Why are these bad if you're getting hired to do them? It's like they're equal to the previous yeah, ones. Yeah, but everybody there's broke. You know what I mean? So what? <laughs> You're hired already. Do you get tips? I do get tips. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of these people are bad at investing, so they'll give me a good amount of money. <laughs> so you're excited about these? I actually am really <laughs> excited about these. All right, do you have a, a one no. last one that'll really... No, I don't. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't. Why didn't we go backwards I up know. the list? I've, I've ordered them wrong, too. Because the later ones are the least funny. Maybe, maybe if we had a big spectacle or something. Like, right. You know, uh, some physicality. like you. Right, right. So you maybe know, I'm, took I'm, the stage. I'm pulling someone in the wheelbarrow. I guess I don't okay, mean in what the do parade. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, here to, to end the show, to close out the show. Maybe if you, like, made a big deal out oh, of it. Oh, yes. Okay, and sort of, like, covered up the weaknesses of it, you know? Yeah, 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 okay. I could be the So do what Marshall. I normally do. Use volume in <laughs> place of actual material. Yeah. Okay. Who, who here wants to see Fred Head yeah. give us one last joke? Yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Welcome to the Crypto is the Future Boil Off, <laughs> Little Miss Panic Cell. <laughs> yeah, look at those feet. Look at her feet. Look at those feet. What are those feet do? What are those feet do? Look at what those feet do. Yeah. Look at those hips. 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 Look at those. Oh, big kick. Big kick one time. Big kick. Big kick one time. Big kick. Big kick one time. Yeah. Whoop. Woo. Woo. Drag that toe. Drag that toe. Jump. Oh, drag that toe. Drag that toe. Drag that toe. Drag it around. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. 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 Carry the stool just like a purse. 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 Look at, look, 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 look. Put it back where the stool was. There you go. All right. Yeah. That's our show, everyone. Welcome to the tour! <laughs>